All right, so in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to add Gunsway to your 3D Godot 4 game. So right now you can see I have a basic FPS controller and the gun here looks really lame and boring. It looks too static, so we're going to fix that. So I'm going to close out of this. Um, what we're going to do is basically make a node that will tell the gun where it should be. So I'm going to come into my gun model here and I'm going to add a node as a child to it. And this node will be a marker 3D. And then I'm just going to move it outside of the gun model. That way we have this node exactly where we want the gun's target position to be. And then I'm just going to call this gun target. So I'm going to select the gun model and click this to enable top level. What that will do is make it so that the gun no longer follows um, the player. You can see the gun has disappeared. That's because it is at roughly 000, um, in global coordinates. Next, let's add a script to our gun model here. And we need a variable to get access to that um, gun target node that we just made. So I'm just going to on ready var gun target. Um, and this will be equal to that right there. Um, quick tip, if you didn't know that you could do that, you can actually just drag nodes from your scene tree into here, and it'll get a reference to it. So. There we go, gun target. And then I'm gonna make another variable. This will be an export variable for uh, the sway amount. Um, sway speed, this will be 50.0 by default. You can change that later to whatever you like. Let's make a function for the physics process. And we will go ahead and basically just linearly interpolate our global transform to the target's global transform. So that's pretty simple to do. We're just gonna go global transform. Transform is equal to global transform dot interpolate with. And then the first argument here, it's asking for um, the target transform. And this is going to be gun target dot global transform. And then it's going to ask for a weight, or in other words, a speed at which to do it, and this is just going to be sway, speed, and then we want this to be consistent across frame rates, so we're going to use delta. And that should be all we need if we go ahead and run this. There you go. It now reacts to the player's movement and the camera's rotation as well. So I hope this was useful for you guys, and it's a very quick, very easy um, gun sway. If you want to see a tutorial on how to add recoil, let me know in the comments and I might make that.